It might look like a busy hospital, but this is the gymnasium at Wales High School. The people who look like medics are actually secretaries, kitchen staff and caretakers, all drafted in to help test students for COVID before school reopens from the end of the week. We're anxious to make sure that everyone returning to school next week has had a test, has had two or three days before they take their second test, because we feel that will not only reassure our staff, but will also reassure our wider community that we're returning to school 2,000 students who have not been vaccinated, who have been out and about all over the world perhaps, and they need to know that when we come back to school in what is quite a confined space, that they're safe to do so. Students were turning up from as early as 7.30 this morning to get tested keen to take part and to do their bit. I'd say I don't mind it, but I think it's going to be really useful at the end, won't it? It predicts if anyone's got COVID or not, so it can help the school get a lot more organised and prepared. Up the M1 at the Manor Church of England Academy at York, they're taking the return to school just as seriously, but have relaxed some of the previous restrictions and are collapsing bubbles and two-metre rules. I think we want to get back to learning in the classroom, making the learning as effective as we can, and to do that, I think we need to return to a normal way of operating, and that's what we're looking forward to doing this year. If teachers want to, they can keep their restrictions in their classroom in place, so hopefully that will uh, enable them to feel reassured in some ways. But we expect the vast majority of people to uh, take advantage of the opportunity to go back to a more normal way of operating. Personally, um, I'm ready to come back. Um, we've been here a large amount of the time anyway with the students. Um, I myself am clinically vulnerable, but I'm double vaccinated. We'll take all the necessary precautions that we need to take. But life is starting to open up out there and we need to, to, start to learn to live with this and to move forward for ourselves and for the students. While a return to school is exciting for many, for some staff and students, it will be an anxious time. But now there's talk of vaccines for the under 16s. Schools have got a long history of doing vaccinations in school, whether it be year eight or, or year nine students. And so I think if the scientists were saying that our younger people needed to get vaccinated and it was safe to do so, we'd support that and, and we'd help them uh, organise that and arrange for it. Whatever happens, this school year is certainly looking a lot different to the last. Ian White, BBC Look North.